What aspect of property do you think is the most relevant for the element of Group 13? Uh, well, given the router shell electronic configuration, NS2 and P1, they can show both 1 plus or 3 plus uh, oxidation states. And in my opinion, this is a really important feature. Yeah, this is something that we haven't seen before for elements in Block S. So this is the first time that we have to use redox diagrams such as Latimer and Frost ones in order to understand properly the properties of these elements. And in concordance with oxidation states, we have seen not only reductant species, but also oxidant species like a thallium 3 plus. Additionally, there is a metalloid element as boron in the group. This is also an important feature because uh, not only metallic properties have been discussed. Well, although we have discussed some current chemistry with beryllium in group 2, it's now with boron when we have seen it has a really large covalent chemistry. We have also studied how acid base behavior is not constant in the whole group. Yes, that's true. While boron chemistry tends to form acidic oxides, aluminium and gallium ones are more amphoteric and then indium and thallium oxides are definitely ionic. But is there any characteristic that uh, resembles in something to the metals of the previous group? Uh, well, uh, the reduction potential from oxidation 3 to 0 uh, of aluminium is quite negative, although it's uh, less reactive than metals from block S. Step boron, they are all metals. Uh, so they are silvered, lustrous, and they conduct electricity and heat. Uh, certainly, there is no many parallelisms with block S element. And what about the presence of these elements in your daily life? Certainly, aluminium is the most present element in our daily life. I will probably manage several objects every day containing aluminium, such as cans, beverages, uh, food packing or domestic appliances. Yeah, obviously the importance of aluminium in our lives is huge, but it surprised me this week to discover the importance of gallium as semiconductor. It is really interesting how gallium arsenide can be used as an alternative to silicon and germanium, and it is also important in laser diodes and leads with gallium nitride. Uh, the application of boron in glass is also remarkable. The properties given uh, from boron to the glass are really valuable in our days. And what other aspect that we have not discussed yet would you consider important? Well, it should be noticed that they are Lewis acid and they dispose of a backhand P orbital uh, to allocate electrons for a pace. Well, uh, we can mention also the environmental impact of the extraction of aluminium by Hall Herald Profess and highlight the importance of recycling aluminium. Yeah, that's a good point to comment. Uh, the production of aluminium requires uh, a lot of energy and it causes some problems in the environment. It is definitely a worries to consider seriously the recycling process in our daily life. Okay, this has been a very constructive discussion with all of you. Let's see what is waiting for us the next coming week for the elements of Group 14.